everybody, my name is Jordan and I have been a Messianic Davidic dance leader since 2011. Um, now this introduction video is for the Leadership Dance Series. Now this is for those of you who wish to you know, get out there and be the dance leader and uh, be able to lead dances, choreograph dances, that kind of thing. That's what this series, this next series that I'm working on is dedicated to. It's dedicated to all of you that want to get out there um, who are, have been dancing alone at home for weeks, months, years. This is for those of you who want to dance but nobody else is stepping up to take the lead and actually lead some of these dances. Um, now, I, when I started, I was a, how old was I? Um, I was in my teens. I, you know, I had grown up kind of on the stage. I tap danced from the time I was, um, uh, let's see, four to age six. And then I was, you know, doing off-Broadway shows, um, with a local theater troupe, uh, up until I was 18. So, you know, when I first did it, you know, in 2011, it really didn't phase me as far as performance you know, stuff goes, because it's kind of what it is. But, you know, if you're doing dance, you're all on the same level. It's not like you're performing in front of everybody. And if you have the right heart and the right intention, and you are just focused on worshiping and helping everyone else just express that joy through dance, it's one of the most amazing things, and it's, it levels the playing field, really. Because you're focused, if you're focused on everyone else, as far as teaching them how to, how to dance, what the dance moves should be, how they work out, that kind of thing. It's such a joy. It's so amazing to do. Um, I've been hooked on it, obviously, for uh, a long time. I first learned Messianic dance in 2010, and uh, then I just uh, then I just took off from there because with my you know already you know I already been dancing up to that point, just you know theater kind of dance. But this was you know took it to a whole other level. I was so excited that I could do it when we got together for. Um, uh, congregation worship, you know, praise and worship, and, uh, you know, when I hopped up, you know, other people would hop up, and, you know, we'd just start dancing, and usually it takes one person, and if you are that person, if you believe you're that person, give it a shot. Nothing can be lost if you just try to lead dance. Um, you know, you'll, you'll fumble, you will make mistakes, but you will get better. If you keep plugging along, you will get better. So, this is the introduction for the Leadership Dance Series, um, and I'm going to give you some basic pointers, uh, but from here, all the videos afterwards are going to be how to um, uh, give the right hand signals, uh, we're going to have another video about how to choreograph dances, how to lead dances, um, what to do and not to do, that kind of thing. Um, but and, any other videos you may ask me to do that uh, could you expound on this topic as far as being a dance leader or whatever, I will gladly do it. Uh, just put it in the comment section below and I will make the video as soon as I can. <laughs> so, so let's get to the basic pointers and then we will get into every other video after this. So, here we go.